Hello everybody, this is Mario Preacher, Season 2, Episode 8. Woo, it started off with the flashback. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going. They started off with just as daddy died. The man on the clock got killed by savages. Yeah, he got killed. And then they go to car. And I'm like, what the hell? Oh, her. Her star. Yeah, because they're watching them and he's like, boring, kill them. Next thing you know, we see some Tom Clancy, Call of Duty type shit going on. <laughs> yeah, because it's fr it's POV view. It's first person view. Alright, we're inside. We're inside. And then, pew pew. They killed Dennis! And then you see Cassidy all in night vision killing people. And then they're getting him. And then you see Dennis, I'm like, he's alive. <laughs> yep, he turned him into a vampire. It's a father-son thing. And then you see Jesse, like, oh, there's a woman. And then Jesse beats the crap out of him, like, who sent you? He's like, kill your friends. I was like, he used Genesis. Hallelujah. I was like, yes, he used it on them, and they did. And then he's like, all right, who sent you? And then Dennis killed him because of the bloodlust. He's a brand new vampire. I guess the rules apply to all vampires. Once they're newborns, they're going to need lots of lots of blood. So next, her star is on a date with some woman. She's beautiful. Very gorgeous. My hello, Philly. And he doesn't have good people skill because he's like, take off your top. Put this stick of butter underneath your chin. Uh-huh. One, I'm like, damn, he has the power to make this woman do it. Hold your breath. <sighs> he's pissed. Next thing you know, his minions come. I forgot her name. Him. I remember he was on a... Crap, I forgot what that show was called. And he's like, I'm sorry for it. Like, I'm gonna die. And then he's like, whose fault is it? It's my... And then she's like, his? <laughs> You're dead. He keeps shooting. <laughs> Nothing's coming out from the gun. And he's like, I think it's jammed. He's like, alright. And then he's like, I think we have a solution. Ba Brad. Brad? And they're like, okay. Hmm, I like it. And he's like, alright. Leave me alone. I want... He says he wants a rape fantasy. He wants a, someone that says that says no means yes. I'm like, oh my god, the sick sadistic bastard. I was like, oh my, all right, crazy. And the hurry, like, I would love to do it. She volunteered. It's crazy, yeah. So next thing you know, Jesse, they're back right there, and Tula wakes up like, why is there a sea of bodies in the kitchen dead? He has CSI in there, like doing nothing, like you know, listen, prints cleaning, and then he has the cups there. He's using Genesis on all of them. They make a perimeter, and he's getting ready because someone's coming. So he thinks. So next, you know, they're getting... He's getting paranoid. Yeah, he has the cops right there, like, all right. Anything? All right. South corner. Cleared. North corner. Clear. Then a guy comes in in a mask, and they stop him. Nothing. And then Jesse's like, I'm coming down. <sighs> Tulip shot the CSI guy, the cleaner. And I'm like, wow, she is very paranoid. Nobody came. And guess what? He had his fantasy. He's like, we're the professionals. Because he wanted professional people that will know, you know, this whole thing. I'm like, okay, I guess for, for a top dollar you can get anything. He's like, yeah. He's like, oh, there's a mistake. I wanted women. Oh, yeah, there is a mistake. There's three dudes right there. He's like, uh, I didn't want this. No. You heard the man. No. And the, oh, they're raping him. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, my God. All right, get over it. I'm like, what the fuck? What? I'm like, I guess he's been to many pain. He's like, yeah, this is all part of the process. So, my God. And then he looks at the file, Jesse Custer. He's like, it's the key. And then after that, I'm like, all right, send Brad away. Brad is a missile. So, I forgot her name. Uh, Featherstone. She's like coding it to go another way. It does. Somewhere else explodes. And it was crazy because the guys were like, they gave him props. After what they did to him, I'm like, oh my god. So next you know, Jesse Custer is in a bar, drinking his lousome. And guess who comes? Her star is like, yeah, I can help you find God. I'm like, oh shoot, don't trust the devil. Don't trust the serpent. This was a crazy episode, especially that part, because I'm like, oh my god, AMC, how far will you go? I don't, I like it, I don't care. Uh, shoot, it was cool, alright? You're breaking boundaries, alright? I'm telling you, once you stop doing commercials, you will be like, I don't know, that'd be cool for me. Like, maybe you should have a sub part. You know, uh, just subscription based only AMC, and we get to see the real Walking Dead. Well, yeah, more gore, more bad cussing. Just, <laughs> alright, please come rate, subscribe, and take care. Bye.